Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your January 1st through January 7th weekly tarot reading. This is for the sign of Virgo. Now generally my readings are love readings, but we will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. And I need to remind you that this may not resonate with you because it is not a private reading. It is for a general audience. I will focus this camera in once I have all the cards laid out. There you are. Perfect. Love it. Oh, it looks pretty good, too. I'm just going to make it a little more visible. Okay. So, it appears that you guys are starting a new journey. Congratulations. <laughs> looks good so far. It's going down the road, okay? All right. It feels like new doors are opening. A new path is on the horizon. You're leaving something behind, you know, you're walking away and it's bringing you some kind of security, stability. You're being offered a new opportunity for stability or security, you know, and I'm not sure what it is, but it could be financial, okay? You could be even receiving a gift of money or some gift of security you will be receiving. And, you know, it's something that comes quite out of the blue, okay? Um, all of a sudden, you're going to start to to get this gift. I'm not sure what it is, but you're going to get it out of the blue. It's, it's completely unexpected, okay? It feels like uh, you're heading towards wish fulfillment either way. I mean, you are heading towards your heart's desire. You're closing a door. You are just ending some period of depression, some period of anxiety, some you know, restlessness, sleepless nights. It's like you're done with it. Perhaps you've just moved right out of that situation or you've decided to block it out. There's been some obsessions, some kind of addictions perhaps, maybe even some, some lust, okay, because of that devil card right there. Perhaps there's been some lust that has led to something um, unstable. And I think that... You know, now it's it's come to light, whatever it is, it's come to light, and now it's you're moving away from that. You're moving away from this manipulation, this lie, whatever it is. There's some kind of unjust act, lie, manipulation, obsession, something like that that you're moving away from. You're making progress anyway. You're starting to to head in the right direction. Have more respect, okay? Maybe somebody's having more respect for you or you're having more respect for yourself. I don't know. Uh, many of you have decided that you're going to follow your own path. You're going to have faith in yourself. You're going to believe in yourself. You could uh, have realized, you know what, I'm going to do what's right for me. Even if there are legal issues, I'm still going to do what's right for me, okay? Because there could be some possible legal matters going on for somebody who's watching this. You know, because they they have to let go. You know, there could be a divorce, I have to tell you, for somebody. There could be a divorce and that brings about some kind of legal matters. But it was a false bond anyway. It was some kind of false um, tie that needed to be broke, okay? So I just want to let you know that it feels that many of you are headed in the right direction. You're making progress towards your heart's desire, towards wish fulfillment. You know, and it takes confidence, courage, wisdom, um, strength. And I think you guys have really taken action towards, towards making positive changes in your life. You've been waiting. You've been thinking twice. You've been trying to be very practical and responsible with your decisions. But... You know, in the long run, it's in because of romance. You know, you're looking for romance, and I think that romance is, 
is probably headed in your direction because of the way that you've handled the situation. I think I see romance headed in for somebody. I don't know who it is, but it's something that um, you've been waiting for. Okay, but you you thought you kind of thought you know that you were doing this in vain. Like whatever was happening wasn't going to bring you romance. But I think that romance is coming despite whatever you were thinking, and that could be your security. You know, maybe romance is your security. I don't know. Maybe you just had to let go of something. You had to take that leap of faith. You had to actually make a stand and take action for this romance to come. You know, either way, I feel like the time is now um, that you should keep going. You're on the right track. And there's no more need to wait. There's no more need to pretend there's no more need to block your feelings it feels like you guys have been blocking the truth and now you don't have to block it anymore okay you don't have to you don't have to fake it the truth is on the table you know i'm gonna speak my truth um you're following your own path you're listening to your inner guide you are um opening up that's what I see. Many of you are opening up and changes are happening because of your strength and your confidence and your courage and your pride. You know, you've decided that you are going to do the right thing for you. And because you make that decision, you take the practical approach, things are falling right into place. It looks beautiful. It really does. I, you know, I think uh, something has ended that you were just waiting for the perfect time and the perfect time has come all right whether it's a job relationship who knows what it is whatever however it pertains to your situation you're not you're detaching from something okay you're detaching from something because you're looking for more you're looking for growth you're sensitive you're looking for romance okay or happiness if it's with a job you're looking for more okay so you're detaching from something that just wasn't doing it for you, okay? I think for many of you, there's a new partner, okay? There's a new partner, and this new doorway has opened, and it probably opened unexpectedly. You may have thought it, you know, at one point you thought it was going to open, then you thought it wasn't going to open, and... Then you're like, oh no, it's definitely not going to open. And now it's opening. And it's like, oh boy, it's really opening. You know, that kind of energy. The door's opening. A new partnership of some sort is opening. And it's bringing you a new gift. It's like a gift to you. Whether it's security or stability or it's just a plain gift to you. It's what you've been waiting for. It's a gift. And it leads to your wish fulfillment. It's what you have been wishing for, okay? Something you've been wishing for is starting to come to fruition. I see a lot of happiness here this week. Let me tell you who you could be dealing with. You could be dealing with a Taurus. There could be a separation from a Taurus, okay? That's where your legal matters could be in. It could be somebody new as well, but I just want to throw that out there. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be, and the Capricorn could be, you know, could be sun, moon, or rising, and that's the same with a Taurus as well. You know, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. You could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aries. But anyhow, um, it really could be any sign. I really don't like to pull them out there like that because everybody has so many different aspects in their charts. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold uh, the signs, you know. I wouldn't really go with that. I mean, you can if you want, but whatever. Anyway, um, I see that one door has closed and a new door is opening and it is wish fulfilling, okay? I see a lot of happiness this week. It's like you've decided that you're gonna focus your energy someplace else no more lying no more lying to yourself <laughs> that's you 
And as I was saying, you've reached an awakening. It's time to wake up. It's time to express yourself. It's time to speak up. It's time to, to release the past because you've been denying it. You've been, you have been denying something, okay? You have been denying something that has to do with some kind of commitment. You've been in denial. You've been trying to uh, not let it out. You've been hiding it. But the fact of the matter is it's coming out. It is coming out. The secret is out. If it isn't yet, yeah, it's going to be soon. The secret is out and it is time to release. It's time to let go of the past. It's time to forgive yourself and others. The secret's coming out. It's time to wake up. Time for an awakening is what I'm trying to say. You've, you've been thinking about it. You have. This is you, by the way. This represents the sign of Virgo. You've been thinking about it. You've been contemplating. You've been trying to come up with a plan. You've come up with a plan, but you were scared to take action. But the time has come, okay? Because it's time. There's, it's the idea. It's no longer just an idea. It's time to take action. Okay? It's like a mentally restless. You can't deal with it anymore. It's overpowering. This feeling of hiding this truth is, is just about killing you. Or it was. I can't pretend any longer. This truth needs to come out. This is Taurus, by the way. Or a commitment that you were in. Take strength and courage and confidence to speak your truth. End of a relationship. Ten of Cups. Is, and I do believe for some of you, and this could pertain to a job. It doesn't have to be a, a, a husband-wife kind of relationship. It can be between family members, father, mother, whatever. You know, this is the end of a relationship, a happy home, uh, something like that. It's a completion. The secret is about to be out. And the tens are completion. It's like this truth has been hidden. The hidden truth is about to come out. And I see a completion of a cycle. In a relationship. All right? It's like things have been misaligned. Somebody hasn't been happy. And it's coming out on the table. It's been a long time coming. You know, there's the fact of the matter is, is it could be a little overwhelming when this happens, okay? When all this stuff comes out on the table, I see happiness. There's a lot of happiness. You could be so happy that you cry. You could cry out of happiness or you could cry out of despair. I see some emotions here. This is overwhelming. The changes that are going on, all right? It's overwhelming because they're big. There's big changes going on, Virgo. Something is going and something new is coming. And the emotions might be all over the place. And it's okay to step back. It's okay to withdraw just to pull yourself together and breathe for a minute. Okay? Because when one relationship dies, when something dies, when something comes out, it's emotional. So what you need to do is acknowledge your feelings, nurture yourself, care for yourself, give yourself time, and release. All right, give yourself the time you need to release. Do not try to rush it, that's advice. Give yourself the time you need because I see that you're going to need it. I think that there's a lot of happiness here. There's a lot of happiness. And these could be tears of joy. They could be. And I think they're going to be a mix of tears. A mix of, you know, forgiveness as well. I think that's a, that's a big issue. Forgiveness is needed. This is forgiveness. Okay? So whether you need to forgive yourself or somebody else, go ahead. Start the process.
it feels like this week is a is a new door is opening. There's a fork in the road and you're going down a new path. I see a new path ahead of you and in order to go down that new path you have to let go of something. You've been hiding something, hiding a feeling, hiding the truth. But it's coming out and somebody knows, somebody knows that there's some kind of lies. Somebody knows what's going on and the truth is going to come out. But you're, you know, it might hurt for a minute, but then you're going to be free and you're going to be happy and romance is going to come. And, you know, it's just, it's like, uh, wow, over overwhelming amount of change in a short period of time. The card is be supportive. Interesting. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. All that is needed is some extra support and care for yourself. Remember I told you to take the time? This is what will get you through this. It's amazing. It really is. Take it, take the time to take care of yourself, to nurture yourself. I love it. They do this to me like every time. I'm not kidding. All that is needed is some extra support and care. Take the time to encourage someone. And I think it's yourself. Could be somebody else. Recognize the effort that they are making. Being supportive will help create harmony and peace. Just as the angels support us in all things, be willing to support yourself and others that you love. Be supportive. Support yourself. Support the others in your life. Mainly it's support yourself. You know, you look at this. It's a man and a woman. It's love. Okay? Okay? You have to do what's right for you. And the other person. Okay? Because I, I you know, it feels like there's an ending and a new beginning. If you're if you're in a situation, and this is what it feels like to where you're not happy, you're deceiving, you're deceiving somebody. This is lies. The devil brings lies. And whether it's you or the other person, you know, because it can always be the other person. And you're hiding the truth. It's hurting everybody. It's not supporting them. And it's not supporting you. And that's why this card came out. You have to be supported, supportive to everybody involved. Even if it hurts. The basis of your reading still hasn't changed. Is the two of wands. Partnership. New door opening. Focusing your energy in a new direction. Going down a new path. That's the basis of this week. Accepting the truth, not hiding it anymore because the truth is coming out. And it could be a little overwhelming. I see sadness and happiness. Anyway, looks like an interesting week. Talk to you later.